Hey y'all, welcome back to another ballistics gel test. Today I've got Winchester Deer Season XP 150 grain and 30 out 6. And here is the box for that Winchester Deer Season XP 30 out 6 150 grain load. Also, I want to point out I really do like Winchester's new box art. I think that is kind of a nice touch. Let's flip it around to the back. Here is all of your promo information for your Deer Season XP ammo. You can stop, pause, and read all that if you would like to. Right down here, they give you a nice ballistics table. Muzzle velocity is listed at 2920 feet per second. We will see if we hit that, if we come close, if we exceed it. Who knows? Let's open it up and take a look at one of these things. And also, Winchester has been including these promo stickers, which is a nice touch. That's always fun. Let's yank one out and take a look. Here it is. Big old huge ballistic tip right there. Absolutely massive. Let's see how this stuff does. And the test rifle today sitting on this cooler here is my Tika T3X Superlight Stainless Chambered in 30 out 6. Of course, it has a 22.3 inch barrel. And up top, it's got a Leopold VX3 HD 4.5 to 14 by 40 scope. And coming on back, of course, it's got one of my handmade leather cartridge cuffs holding five 30 out 6 shells. And flipping it around to the other side, it has my elk design on here. Check out my website, masonleather.com. I would absolutely love to make you one. We'll be taking three shots from 100 yards, firing into 10% ballistics gel that has been calibrated to meet the FBI's ballistics testing protocol. And while ballistics gel isn't an exact proxy for big game, it does provide a repeatable medium through which to test various bullets and ammo against each other. After the shots, we'll examine bullet expansion, weight retention, penetration, and velocity. My goal is to provide hunters like you and I with the most objective information possible to help us make the best choice for our particular hunting situation. The ballistics gel in this video has been sourced from Clear Ballistics. You can find a link in the description. So let's go ahead and shoot it. And let's go ahead and take a look at the velocities for that 150 grain Deer Season XP load out of the 30-06. Our high was 28.98, our low 2861 and our average was 2883 and we are down here at the blocks after shooting that deer season xp 150 grain load out of the 30 hot six when i came down here this block was over in the grass over there i mean this stuff just just hits like thor's hammer it dumps energy hard and fast we did manage to capture two bullets one of them is right here it almost made its way to the second block not quite it looks like that one held together for the most part here is the second one that is just the base of the case the lead core blew apart it's you know in chunks in the block right there so sort of a fail in my estimation i don't like to see that where one bullet does one thing another does something totally different that's you know that's not very consistent penetration wise we'll go ahead and count that one for the first one that's at about 12 inches and the other one is right back here we'll give it 16 inches since it's right on that crease let's dig them out and take a look and here are the two bullets or rather one bullet and one chunk of jacket as recovered from that Winchester Deer Season XP 150 grain 30 out 6 load. Y'all, this is just one more notch in the belt of Deer Season XP being very inconsistent, not performing well, in my opinion. If you saw my video on the 450 Bushmaster Winchester Deer Season XP, we saw a similar story. We saw some bolt, well, actually, on the 450 Bushmaster, we had no expansion, no expansion, and one that blew up, so even more inconsistent than this. At least here we had one that expanded. Let's just go ahead and hit the metrics. Weight retention wise, we saw 116 grains for that bullet on the left and 45 grains for the chunk of jacket that was recovered on the right. The rest of that bullet blew up into a bunch of little pieces. And that works out to 54% weight retention. Of course, that's very skewed because of the inconsistent performance of this load. If all the bullets did the same thing, if they all just blew up, that'd be one thing. If they all held together, it'd be another. But we just continue to see inconsistency with Deer Season XP. And then onto expansion, we saw 0.76 inches and 0.79 inches for an average of 0.78 inches. That's 2.5x expansion. Velocity-wise, we saw 28.98 for the high, 
2861 for the low and 2883 for the average versus a factory build velocity of 2920. So we came in 37 feet per second slow. That's a lot better than a lot of other ammo that I have tested. I'm happy with the velocity. And then on to penetration, 12 inches and 16 inches for an average of 14 inches of penetration. That's pretty darn shallow, even for that bullet that held together. I mean, the one that held together was still 116 grains. That's okay weight retention, and it only went, you know, 14 inches on average. That's pretty poor performance, in my opinion. And kinetic energy wise, with a 150 grain bullet going on average 2,883 feet per second, that works out to 2,768 foot pounds of energy at the muzzle. All right, y'all, the failures keep on coming. I can't wait to do this one. Final thoughts on Winchester Deer Season XP 150 grain and 30 aught six, just like the 450 Bushmaster Deer Season XP. Failure. Why is it a failure? because one bullet kind of performed well and the other one blew apart. I mean, this ammo can't make up its mind as to what it's going to do. And I'm not saying that this kind of ammo needs to retain all its weight, maintain a large expanded bullet at the end of the day. It just needs to do the same thing shot after shot, and it just doesn't. We had one bullet that was 116 grains when recovered, another that blew apart that was 45 grains. Why won't they do similar things? If I'm going to be hunting with a particular ammo and taking a shot on a live game animal, I at least want to know what the bullet's supposed to do and going to do on impact, you know, barring something that's out of our control. But what is in our control is the type of ammo that we use, and I don't think there's a more inconsistent line of ammo that I've tested than Deer Season XP. Every single time across calibers, one bullet will do one thing, another will do something else. Sometimes they blow up completely, sometimes they expand and hold together, sometimes they don't expand at all. It's ridiculous. So by all means, form your own opinion. I'm just here presenting objective facts, showing you an objective test. If you want to hunt with the stuff, by all means, go for it. I know that I won't be. And check out my website, masonleather.com, and get yourself some leather gear handmade by me just for you. I've been handcrafting leather gear for hunters for over a decade and I would love to make you something. And there are hundreds of reviews on my website so you can see what real hunters have to say about their mason leather gear. And also tons of photos showing all the customizable options including name, initial, and caliber stamping as well as wild game designs and more. Everything is handmade by me right here in the USA. I would love to be a part of your hunt through my leather gear. And it helps support this channel so I can bring you more hunting ammo ballistics gel tests and lots of other cool stuff in the future. The link will be in the video description and the pinned comment or you can just type masonleather.com into your web browser. And click one of these cards for more hunting ammo ballistics gel tests.